Hey guys, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to pair your Lear controller to HomeKit. So, first thing we want to make sure is that your Lyric system is connected to the Wi Fi. Now, one little caveat about the HomeKit is it does come with the latest panel. So, if you buy your Lyric new, it should come with the latest firmware version. You, um, now, it comes with it in the firmware version. However, it still needs to be enabled by a monitoring company. So you can't just buy the system and expect it to be HomeKit compatible right away. You actually need a monitoring company to enable that feature for you. Yeah, that's the way Honeywell has made it. So if you're looking to use HomeKit and you're getting the Lear controller, you need to make sure you're on the latest firmware and you also need to make sure that your monitoring company supports it so that they can enable it for you. Now, little thing about this, you do want to make sure you have the Lear connected to the Wi-Fi. And here I have a tablet that's also connected to the same Wi-Fi. You're going to need this for the pairing mode. So the first thing I'm going to do, let me go ahead and uh, get my iPad ready here. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is open up the home app. As soon as I open it up, I have actually, I have a fresh, fresh screen, right? So my first button that I can press is add accessory. So when I hit add accessory, it's going to ask me to use the home kit setup code. Look for the code in the accessory or its packaging and position it in frame. However, we don't have that code. So what we're going to do is don't have a code for camp scan. Once we press that, it gives us a different option. Now it's looking for nearby accessories that have the HomeKit capability and that are connected to the same Wi-Fi. So this Lyric here is on the latest firmware version and <clears throat> it does have the HomeKit enabled. So that's why on our iPad, we actually see the only accessory available is the Lyric um, and then the rest of those letters there. So once I click it, it's gonna ask me to set up the code and on the Lyric screen, you'll actually see it's asking me to authorize the pairing. So it actually is asking for your master code. So I'm gonna enter in one, two, three, four. Ooh, my four didn't read. And it gets, it's, gonna, it's gonna give me a code. That code is what I'm gonna enter in here at the, uh, at the setup screen for the home kit. So it's seven, one, one, three, zero, five, nine, two. Now you see it starts adding it. And as soon as it's done, you should see the Lyric come up on your home screen. Now, <clears throat> here you can automatically see, it says the, the default room Lyric right now, it's currently off, meaning it's disarmed. If I just press on that, press and hold, I believe. Give me one moment. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just asking me if I want to name it. I'll name it. I'll leave it as Lyric. I'll make sure I have it included as my favorite so that it shows up on my home screen. Once I hit done, now it shows up right there. I can actually, it's a press and hold, right? So you press and hold, and then you can set it to either away, which if I do, it should arm my system to away. It works almost instantaneously, it's pretty fast. So if you see the system right now, it says armed away exit now. And then all I'm gonna do, press and hold, and I'm gonna do off. Home, I believe, is stay. Yep, see, it works right away. I'll press off again, and it'll disarm. Now, again, you can exit out of the app. You, you've already paired the Lear to HomeKit, so anytime you exit the app and enter back in, you can simply, boom, bring it right up. It's right there. I believe it also works with Siri, so if I tell Siri... Um, arm lyric away it should work so we'll try it out arm lyric away now you can use siri to arm the system but you cannot use it to disarm the system um, i believe that would cause a big security risk so i'll go ahead and try just to show you guys disarm lyric First, you'll have to set up a passcode on your iPhone or iPad. Then I'm happy to help you secure your home. 
So it does look like it'll actually have a capability, but you do need to have a code set up for this. Basically meaning not just anyone can tell Siri, hey, disarm the Lyric. If it does that, you'll need to have a passcode set up so that then they can enter in the passcode. So it's almost like hitting the disarm button on here and entering in your code. It would be the same thing using the um, Siri. Let me go ahead and disarm it before. Oh. Yeah. Now, if you guys ever need to reset HomeKit, so if you guys had it paired and you guys need to reset it, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. We're going to go ahead and hit security, tools, one, two, three, four. That's my default master code. Yours may have changed depending on if you or your monitor company changed it. Uh, then hit advanced, and you see the reset home kit. So if you're looking to pair home kit to a new device, you would just do the reset home kit, and then you can pair it to a new device. Now, notice how I told you this is on the latest firmware version. It has that reset home kit button. Here, I have a Lyric that's not on the latest firmware. And when I go to advanced on this, I'm actually going to show you guys here, there is no reset home kit. There's no reset home kit button, button at the bottom. Give me just one moment. See, no reset home kit. So if you guys don't see a reset home kit option on your system, that more than likely means you guys are not on the latest firmware version. And uh, it's as simple as just letting your monitoring company know, hey, I need a new firmware update, and I need you guys to enable the home kit uh, so I can use it. Now, <clears throat> again, that was just a quick video on how to pair home kit to the Lyric controller. Um, if you guys do have any questions, you can email us at support at alarmgrid.com. Again, just a quick reminder before I end the video to enable home kit. Or to have home kit innate to have home kit on your lyric, it needs to be enabled by a monitoring company. Yes, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys are notified. I'll see you guys next time.